Well, ladies and gents, this is the insane Dutch plan to damn the North Sea by the channel Real Life Lore. I think I heard this somewhere, I think it was Geography Now video, but I think I heard it somewhere that they are planning to create dams around the places so I think Netherlands uh, doesn't get submerged inside the water because I think it's already at the danger of being submerged. It's that some parts are already below the sea level or something like that. So when the global warming raises the sea, it's gonna most of Netherlands gonna be under the sea. That's the issue. So I think they they are planning to create some dams around the places so that doesn't happen. So it's an insane Dutch plan, but necessary Dutch plan, because it would submerge a lot of Netherlands. That's a massive problem. So yeah, I think you know, I think it is it is that video or maybe something else, but I think it is that video, the the one mentioned in geography now. So, uh, I think it's a necessary thing because uh, even I think Amsterdam, I'm not sure, maybe the video tell but even Amsterdam is going to be underwater. Now, not everybody can just, you know, walk around like it's Venice and just, you know, be underwater. So, I guess uh, creating a dam would be seriously uh, next level technology to do because I don't think anybody has done this and it would be it would be ridiculous and how would they create dams like that in the sea because uh, and sea is really deep how are they going to make dams there so it would be really technological marvels so you know yeah let's watch the video and let's hope real life lord doesn't delete this video like he did last time after I reacted to it, he deleted it. So let's watch this video. This video is made possible by Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. The ocean is getting higher. You might be someone who wants to debate the cause, but there's no denying that the world's sea levels are getting higher. Since 1900, the global sea level has risen by as much as 21 centimeters, and since just 1993, it's risen by 7.5 centimeters. And many scientists expect that that rate of rise is going to accelerate across the course of the 21st century, to the point where at the end in 2100, we might see a rise by as much as 2.7 meters from what we see today. That might not seem like very much, but the results of that would be catastrophic for countries across- Come on man, 2.7 meter is much when you're talking about sea level rise. It will submerge a lot of places that are at the sea seaside the world, and perhaps nowhere would end up getting slammed as hard by Poseidon's wrath as the Netherlands, which is uniquely vulnerable to rising sea levels and always has been. In 325 yeah. BCE, the ancient Greek geographer Pythias said of the Netherlands as he was passing through it that more people here died in the struggle against water than in the struggle against men. Roughly one third of the land in the Netherlands is located beneath sea level, and two thirds of her land is considered to be extremely vulnerable to flooding. Dams. Yeah, it is that video. The one that mentioned geography now, I think. So, damn, look at that. Lots of Faro is already below sea level. And uh, some part is just 0 to 7 meter above sea level. That's nothing. That could be flooded by just almost any, you know, movement in the sea. So, Netherlands is really in danger of getting submerged into the sea. So they, they have to make this dam if they can. And as a result, the Dutch have been fighting a war against the ocean that threatens them for centuries. And in the past, they've come up with some pretty ingenious solutions to fight against their water problem. They've constructed dikes, dams, floodgates, canals, pumping stations, and more, all in their effort to push the sea back. In <laughs> Look at that, it's already like Venice. And they're Dutch, tallest people in the world. So they'll be fine with some water. In 1833, the Netherlands completed construction of the Offslight Dyke Dam, which separated this historical body of water known as the Zuider Zee from the North Sea. Over time, the Zuider Zee became a freshwater lake, and the Dutch even managed to drain some of it out to reveal new lands for settlement. This new land that the Dutch managed to dig up from beneath the waves is roughly twice the size of Singapore, and is today home to a- Damn, so they already kind of did it before. So they already have experience at this. They already dammed the place and revealed a lots of land that is twice the size of Singapore. So that's already, if you have land you can do things, that, that should already raise your GDP. So whatever it would cost to build a dam, I think you can get a lot of it outside of it. 
over 400,000 people who now call it home. Yeah. Without this complicated system that the Dutch have built over the centuries, the Netherlands would naturally look like this today, and millions of people and buildings would all be underwater. But the ocean has not entered into its final form yet and the biggest challenge that the Netherlands may face from it is still ahead. The current system that the Dutch have built is up to the standard that a single flood can be expected in the west of the country about once every 10,000 years, and in the rest of the country that's less inhabited about once every 4,000 years. There are places like Venice in Netherlands where, uh, you know, buildings and cities are under, you know, submerged somewhat with the water, and people are living like that, they just saw in the video right now. Damn, I didn't know that. But the current system is not built according to the worst case projections for sea level rise by the end of the 21st century. If sea levels do in fact end up rising up to 2.7 meters higher than what they are today, this is what the area around the Netherlands will end up looking like. Nearly half of the country is going to be underwater, including her most major and important cities like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, The Hague, and Utrecht. Belgium, Germany, Denmark, France, and England Above anything, Amsterdam being underwater, that's going to be unacceptable. So they have to build bridges if that's the case. They have to build dams. Will all suffer significant parts of their coastlines going beneath the waves as well. So in the event that this ends up happening, only a very radical solution could push the ocean back. And what better people to come up with that radical solution than the Dutch, who have been fighting this very war for centuries. Enter the proposal made by a Dutch scientist and his German colleague, dubbed the Northern European Enclosure Dam, or NEED for short. A Dutch and a German, that would do it. That would do it. The proposal calls for the construction of a series of colossal dams around the perimeter of the North Sea and the English Channel in order to block the rising sea levels from getting inside and threatening Northern Europe. The shorter of these sections would be built across the channel from Cornwall in England over to Brittany in France. A distance of a 161 distance, yeah. kilometers across an average depth of roughly 85 meters. Of course, to simplify the engineering challenges and resources required, the dam could be constructed further back in the channel across the significantly more narrow Strait of Dover. But then, it'd be leaving all of the land in southern England and northern France vulnerable to the wrathful ocean's wave. And yeah, also if you dam the place, won't it raise the level of this part of sea anyway? Even normally wouldn't have, but now because of the dam would raise so we're just building this dam alone threaten uh, France and England. The northern part of the structure would be a collection of island hopping dams that originates in mainland Scotland and stretches from there out to the Orkney Islands, and then from there over to the Shetland Islands, and then finally from there it would stretch out 331 kilometers across the open ocean to western Norway. This Damn. final section would of course be the most challenging to accomplish from an engineering perspective, yeah. particularly because the depth across most of it is well over 100 meters, and once the dam approaches Norway, the depth dramatically increases to well beyond 300 meters in Can you create dam that deep, man? And not just that, I mean, however thicker and stronger dam you make, wouldn't the sea and the pressure of it would cause issues there that would require constant repairing? If this happens, it's going to be seriously deep engineering. That would be so awesome to see, man. Some places. To make matters even worse, the finishing point for the dam here in western Norway isn't really connected to the Norwegian mainland. It's on an island called Satra, so another small series of dams would have to be constructed from here over to the Norwegian mainland somewhere in order to completely enclose northern Europe from the rising ocean outside. The paper's authors claim that the total cost for this entire project would be somewhere between the range of 200 billion and 500 billion euros. But they that that's nothing when when we're talking about this massive level where there's many european countries are involved 200 to 500 billion euros is not that much it's barely anything especially considering that would submerge lots of places if they don't do it so this is not really costly compared to that they also note that that would be less than 0.1% of all the country's GDPs within the dam who would have their coastlines devastated if they chose to do nothing instead. If the need ever does hypothetically get built in the future, it will give the countries around the North Sea the ability to do something very interesting. 
they could begin to artificially control the sea level inside of the dam. Now that, that right there is a massive, massive point because this would be next step in humanity to control sea levels and areas of sea like that. Because that is, I don't think nobody has ever done that. It's like, you know, controlling weather, massive scale weathers and climates. Controlling the sea would be a massive step. Um, which means that if they lowered it, they could begin to reveal lands that have been lost to humanity for thousands of years. As recently as just 8,000 years ago, the British Islands were actually the British Peninsula, because a huge piece of land existed where there's now only water between it and Europe. This land is known today as Doggerland, and roughly 8,000 years ago, rising sea levels flooded this low elevated land and submerged it, which separated the higher hills of Britain from the European mainland. If the need was constructed though, the countries around the North Sea could begin to drain water out and reveal as much of this ancient land as they want for modern settlement and colonization. Whoa, that would change everything, wouldn't it? Everybody's perception of UK, Europe, that would change massively. Because everybody knows UK as being in the Europe, but this island in the area. That has always been the case. And now if they do that and the UK gets connected to Europe like that by land, that would change everything. Massive level of land would be shown. That would be profitable to lots of people, but... That would change everything, the perception of UK, perception of everything, UK would touch France by land. Imagine if that was the case during the Napoleonic Wars, that would change a lot of issues, a lot of things there. But yeah, this would change a lot of things. And I'm seeing issues here as well. This would close off any travel from here. And I think that's Russia. So whole Russia's naval would be in the issue. So I don't think Russia would go for this. And lots of other places would have an issue as well. So I don't think even if they build them, they would do that. And I don't think UK would want, want to connect it to Europe like that. They would like their Navy. So I don't know if even if they build them, they would reveal this much land or drain out the area like that which might actually be vitally important good land to resettle the millions of expected climate refugees from other less fortunate parts of the world on. The Netherlands could expand to become a super Netherlands who doubles, triples, or even quadruples her current land size. But yeah, again that. Wouldn't people dispute France, Netherlands, UK, the which land is whose? Wouldn't that dispute like 8,000 years ago it was this? When people like it, who cares what 8,000 years ago was, now this is mine, this is mine, won't that cause an issue? The geopolitical consequences of constructing the need and draining the water inside should bear some dire mention. First of all, the absolute shock of connecting Britain with Europe via land would almost certainly deal a huge psychological blow to a lot of people. Yeah. Britain's whole identity is so wrapped up into being an island and being separated from the rest of Europe. So actually being connected by a piece of land to the European Union and the European continent that people and vehicles could just move freely across back and forth that couldn't be protected or defended by the Royal Navy would certainly be a problem to a lot of people, I'm sure. I also cannot possibly imagine a scenario in which Russia would be happy that their Baltic sea fleet and ports would be trapped within what's essentially a big bathtub. As there I've said many times in many videos in the past, Russia's entire identity has been based around overcoming being effectively landlocked, and their ports on the Baltic Sea are one of their only paths to trade and naval expansion out towards the larger global ocean. They would not block off St. Petersburg like that, so Russia would never go for this. If the need was constructed, it would effectively check Russian naval ambitions and block them inside of the Baltic, leaving only the Black Sea as Russia's sole year-round act. And not just that, I'm seeing other issues as well. Say they don't drain out the water, they just build the dam so the sea level doesn't rise, but they still build the dam here. Say that this is an entire Europe's dam, nobody controls it. But yet they are still at Norway, UK and they are not in Russia. So would Russia trust these dams? That they don't lock it in place in certain situation? 
Would Russia trust these dams? That's what the issue is. Access into the world's ocean. So even the so building the dam itself would be an issue to Russia, I think. Be happy, and neither would international trade either. If the dams were constructed without any entrances or exits, then global trade would take a massive hit. Out of the top 10 busiest cargo ports in Europe, seven of them would all be located within the confines of the need. Rotterdam, Antwerp, Hamburg, Amsterdam, Bremerhaven, Primorsk, and Le Havre. All of these ports combined make the English Channel the single busiest shipping route anywhere in the world, and the closure of it would almost certainly crash the entire European economy. So there's gonna need to be a way to get these ships out and back in so that the spice continues to flow. Finally, there's also the minor problem of the North Sea, Channel, and Baltic gradually turning into the world's biggest freshwater sea. Water circulation from the outside ocean would be obviously restricted from entering, whereas freshwater discharge from rivers like the Rhine, the Meuse, the Thames, and dozens of others would just keep flowing in. So over time, the body of water inside of the Need would gradually turn into fresh water. And who knows what kind of catastrophic environmental problems that might end up having. In short, the authors of the Need paper do not intend that the construction of the dam should be the solution to global climate change. Rather, they published it as a warning to us all of the radical solutions the world might one day require if- Yeah, it's not a solution, it's a patch at best. But it's a necessary patch if time comes. And it will cause lots of political issues as well. It will be really interesting to see how all that pans out. Because in the end, if it happens, Netherlands would not go for getting submerged that much, especially Amsterdam. So, uh, building up a dam is going to be essential. But uh, how are people going to go for it? I don't know. If we don't fix the problem right now in the present, perhaps one day in the future, we might end up needing to use the plan and we'll have to learn the proper engineering abilities and skills required to build it by then. Normally, acquiring new skills requires a lot of commitment, both in time and money. But Skillshare breaks those barriers down. You might not need the skills to build a dam that'll save the world, but you might want to learn more. Yeah, people, go to skillshare.com forward slash real life lore 0820 and support the channel. So, yeah, this was an interesting video, man, and a really complicated issue that Dutch might need to uh, create these dams, but lots of people would have issue with it and lots of issue might created with it but if they get over all that issues and they do create this dam it's going to be a really technological marvel and it would change lots of things too like controlling the sea it would open up uh, you know plans to control sea elsewhere too so they will, this would be first step to controlling the sea even though it's not a, a you know a solution to global warming it's it, it, it's at least a patch so this was really interesting video man all right if you like my reaction please don't forget to like and subscribe